the second application, the second application of Green's theorem uh, is uh, to evaluate the area of uh, the evaluate plane area. Uh, from the green theorem, we know that the f, uh, the p, x, y, d, x plus q, x, y, d, y, or write as the line integral of f dot dr is partial q, partial x, minus partial p, partial y over the domain and dx dy but we know that the area of d that is a a cos the uh, double integral 1 dA so there's some choices if we uh, choose pq such that part of q part of x minus part of p part of y equals zero so if partial q partial x minus partial p partial y equals zero then the line integral f dot dr is actually the area there are some choices Some choices. The first one, if we choose that q equals x and p equals zero, and uh, so the area is the line integral x dy. The second, that if we choose q equals zero and p equals negative y. So the area is the line integral negative y dx or uh, q equals one half x and p equals one half negative one half y. So the area is one half uh, negative y dx plus x dy. As some choices. Let's see uh, an example. Uh, find the area enclosed by uh, ellipse x square over a square plus y square over b square equals 1. We can use three choices to find the area. The first choice, choice is uh, choose. Okay, the first uh, one that is uh, the uh, parametric, uh, parametric equation for the ellipse that is uh, x square over a square plus y square over b square equals 1. We got a x equals a cosine t and y equals b sine t and t is from 0 to 2 pi. The first choice that is the area is the line integral uh, x dy x dy so the uh, change to the variable t that is from 0 to 2 pi x is a cosine t dy is b cosine t dt take the derivative so that is a b from 0 to 2 pi then cosine t square dt lower the order you study the uh, double angles the, and the identity for double angle. Cosine t square, that is 1 plus cosine 2t over 2 dt. Take the integration ab oh, over 2, that is t 
plus one half sine two t uh, from zero to two pi, then that is pi a b. We insert two pi inside the bracket in, into the t. There's two pi, but sine four pi is zero. Sine zero is zero, and t when when x when t equals zero, the bracket and the bracket in, in and the value inside the bracket is zero. That is pi a b. The second one we can use negative y dx steer the t is from 0 to 2 pi negative y is negative b sine t dx x is a cosine t so dx is negative a sine t dt so that is a b from 0 to 2 pi sine t squared use the identity for double integral uh, for double uh, so for double angles for double angle that is a b that's one minus one minus minus cosine two t over two dt takes the integration as a b over two that's t minus one half sine two t from zero to two pi use the fundamental theorem again it's equals pi a b the third one the third one at a equals one half the line integral uh, negative y dx plus x dy that's actually one half from 0 to 2 pi negative y is negative b sine and that's actually that we use uh, the result before negative y dx that is sine t square x dy that is cosine t square uh, a b That's one half as times a b dt. So that is one half a b times sine t square plus cosine t square is one. So that is zero to two pi dt. That is uh, a b over two times t from zero to two pi. As pi a b. That's the uh, green theorem uh, applied to the uh, to this uh, area. Our do uh, our plan do man. Okay. Uh, let's see another example. Use a line integral to find the area enclosed by mm, of the region. Enclosed by x equals a cosine t cube, y equals a sine t cube, where t from 0 to 2 pi. The solution is actually uh, the most common used. Uh, uh, formula for area is one half the line integral negative y 
dx plus x dy. The most you most common used is the third one. That's the most common used uh, formula. So that's one half t is from zero to two pi. Negative y is negative a sine cube t. Then dx that is a that is a two a uh, three a cosine t square times negative uh, sine t. And uh, x dy x is a cos and cube t, and dy is three a sine t square times cosine t and dt. That is one half zero to two pi. That's a. That's a. That's a that's a square. We take a square outside. That's negative negative. That's positive. So that is sine four sine of four t times cosine square t uh, plus that's cosine four t times sine square t. Okay, dt. So that's one half a square, zero to two pi. That's a uh, common factor. A uh, common factor that is sine square t, cosine t square, uh, then times sine t square plus cosine t square, dt. So that is one half a square from zero to two pi sine t square cosine t square and dt. We use the double uh, double angle sine 2x that is 2 sine x cosine x that's square so that is one half a square from 0 to 2 pi that's one fourth sine 2t square dt Uh, a one h a square from zero to two pi sine square use the double angle that is one minus cosine four t over two dt that is one over h a square uh, one over sixteen it takes this two outside and times t minus uh, 1 over 4 sine 4t from 0 to 2 pi that is pi a square over 8 that's the uh, that's the example to use green theorem to find the area or use the line integral to find the area actually is using the green theorem.